How's it going, everybody? So check this out. This is our biggest build to date. This is a 12 foot long, 54 inches wide conference room table that we're doing for ESS Construction Company. They're building a home office here in our local town. And uh, this thing was so big, I, I had to put it on the slab miser. We're gonna do the pour and everything on the slab miser because our benches and everything are only eight feet long and there's way too much overhang. And so, and I also don't want to have to move this. This thing's going to be so heavy, more than what I already have to. So once it's cured, we're going to take off the sides and then surface the top, then flip it one time and one time only because that's going to be a massive little chore whenever we got to move that thing. So um, I'm going to try and walk through to detail exactly what we're doing. Right now, we have cleaned every bit of these slabs with a wire brush, took out all the... Uh, bark you want to take out all the bark off the sides and everything in there so that way the epoxy can can soak in if you put in bark the bark's gonna eventually fall off and it'll make the epoxy separate so you don't want to do that um so yeah we're going to get ready to do the pour we're thinking it's going to be because it is so cold out epoxy generates its own heat and usually if it's the summertime i'd probably do this in two pours but we are going to try and push the limits today and do it all in one pour because it's so cold out it's like it's like 40 degrees where I'm at right now and, and at night it gets down to 20. Now the epoxy can get cold because it generates its own heat. It just takes longer to cure. It just can't be too hot. So if it's summer out, it'll get too hot and crack on you. So so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna push the limits today and see how it does when it's really cold. All right, this is going to be, uh, oh, be careful there, you just hit your head, you all right? Very good. All right, this is going to be the first, this is going to be three gallons, and I'm thinking it's like, not even going to cover the bottom of this. We'll see. I doubt it. Ooh, that's a good consistency, too. I like oh, that yeah. color. Yeah, it doesn't even, <laughs> look at that, it's not even halfway. It'll barely cover the bottom of that, isn't that crazy? I doubt it'll even be a sixteenth of an inch. Oh man, this is going to take quite a bit of epoxy. Up until that corner, and then it kind of stopped. The way it's looking, it's probably going to take about 30 gallons. That will look cool. These little holes. Mm -hmm. So what Recording. is this kit number three? three. Everything working out all right with that? Kit number four. So this will make twelve gallons. So satisfying. It's twelve gallons and we still oh look at that. Just a little bit of dry tape 15, left. 15 gallons after this one. Right there. It's about, let's say half. This is kit number seven? No. <laughs> Four, we're gonna have to definitely do another kit. We decided to get Brett, our mill operator, out here and join in on the fun. He's uh, doing kit number nine, so that makes it 27 gallons. Well, Thanks. we're at 27 gallons right now and we sprung a leak. So, which is very unfortunate because that's, that's a lot of epoxy in there. So what usually, was, this has happened to us before though, so what we're doing and what Jacob's doing is he's let me try and get under here. So he is cleaning it up and he's going to put some aluminum tape on there to kind of slow it down a little bit, right? 
And then what we're going to do is we're going to take a small piece of MDF and we're going to caulk the edges of it and we're going to clamp it to that corner right there and then we're going to take a heat gun and dry the caulk and uh, that should fix it. That's, uh, that's what we did last time and it worked just fine so we're kind of better prepared this time for a case like this and it's just a small leak for right now so hopefully that'll be the only one. So we think the leak was small enough we can cure it with some aluminum tape and caulking. We're just going to check that out. We're going to keep an eye on it. So while Jacob's doing that, I'm going to do this last pour. Start off in this corner here. So this is going to be 30 gallons. Now the reason why we're pushing it to 30 gallons is because it's winter time out and it's really cold and uh we're gonna put a fan on it and the table's really long so because there's not really wide spots of epoxy we decide that we're gonna push the envelope and do do the whole thing in one pour and if it cracks so the worst that can happen is that the epoxy will overheat and crack. It will not mess with the bond to the wood at all. Oh, you know what? I need to fill up these voids. Thank you. Yeah, I need to fill up these voids. Like those in here. There we go. And these uh what was i saying oh so the worst that can happen is it'll crack and we'll just fill it up with more epoxy okay. right there. here take it over there we go there we go so if it does crack in certain areas we just fill it up with more epoxy and uh We'll be good to go. So we're going to push the envelope on this one and see um, see on a winter, 20 degrees, fan on, if this can handle 30 gallons. Any spots over there? Need more? Um, over right in here. There we go. Let me make sure we got that little chunk. This up. Oh, yeah. Man, 30 gallons. Need some more? Good. Yeah. So, like I was saying earlier, we're gonna, we're gonna, it's 30 gallons. It's winter time out. It's really cold. We're gonna put a big fan on it. I'm gonna turn off the heater in the shop and, and, uh, we're just gonna see what it does. We're gonna let it sit overnight and we'll see in the morning if um if it overheats i'm thinking i'm thinking we'll be good because it's so cold and it's so long and it's not wide enough in any spots that i think we'll be all right so uh we'll check on that in the morning so that's going to be the end of part one of our video i've decided i'm going to leave it right there and we'll make a part one i'll put that on youtube and then five days from now we are going to flatten and surface this thing and that will be part two to that so stay tuned for part two and uh, we'll see you guys next time